Hey guys, Dr. Hero 2 here, and today I'm going to be doing another coding tutorial, and we are going to be doing the Viper Kit from MCPVP. So, uh, I have nothing else to say, so let's get started. Um, let's we'll start in our main class. Um, make an array list called, uh, just go Viper. And again, if, um, I'm using multiple classes, so you're probably going to go want to check my uh, other video on using multiple classes, because that will help you. So, yes. And now we are going to create a new class called, wait for it to load, Viper Implements Command Executor. And we like our uh, with multiple classes. You always have to hook the classes. So I'm gonna copy this Viper, and I'm gonna go back and copy the Boolean. Um. Oh. Okay. So now, um, if command label dot. Gotta wait for all this to load because it's the first. I just loaded Eclipse. Uh, equals ignore case. Viper. What the heck? I'll check my phone. Equals Viper. Um. Hold on. Gotta check something. Okay. Um. If. Um, kit used dot cont oh, plugin dot kit used dot contains p dot get name if excuse me plugin dot viper dot contains p dot get name. Okay, so what we did was we checked if the command line was uh, Viper. If it was, then um, it says if plugin dot kit use dot contains p dot get name. That's just checking to make sure we're not we don't already have a kit. And then right here we're checking to see if they are ready the Viper kit. So yeah, um, if all of that works, then we're gonna type um, plugin dot Viper dot add p dot get name plugin dot kit use dot add p dot get name and we'll go um chat color dot green plus received the viper kit um Oh, dude, okay, that was, I have not done that in a while, sorry, hold on, P, or like, I've never messed up that bad in a while is what I mean by that, you gotta do, send the message, then you have received the Viper kit, p.getinventory.clear, and what armor should we do? We'll just do. We'll just do some straight up armor. Dot add item, new item stack, material. Oh wait, no. We'll we'll enchant this diamond sword. Or no, we'll do an iron sword. Oh my goodness. P or item stack. Uh. Viper equals new item stack. Material dot uh, iron underscore sword. Import item stack. Um, Viper dot enchantment. Enchantment dot damage all level we'll go two. P dot get inventory dot add item. 
Viper. And we'll go full chain. To that chain. Helmet. Speed that get inventory and set like leg leggings that set just for new items stack material that chain mail chest plate. Chainmail leggings and boots. Okay, now we gotta do our uh, else statements. So, our last if statement we had was plug in that viper dot contains. So, it, right here it's checking if they're not in the list here. So then down here it's checking if they are so p dot send message chat color dot red plus you already chose the viper kit and then else p dot send message chat color <sighs> Dot red plus you already chose a kit this life. Hmm, what do we do here? I think we have to move this down one. Just see. Backspace. Boom. Okay. And then Insert and add a return statement. So we just did our two simple checks here. So yeah. Um, now let's get into the kit itself. So let's go back into our events class, and we'll go at event handler public void on Viper. Why is my mouse moving? Entity damage by entity event E. It's a long event. And uh, I'm gonna fix. Okay. Um, player P equals E dot get side. Uh, we'll go to get entity. So, player P is the player that is getting hit, and make sure you cast that. And player D equals E dot get damager, and damager is the player that is the person that hits P. If that makes sense. And hold on, I gotta go check something quick. Um. Events. Big project we're working on. I just gotta check. Okay. Um. If. Oh jeez. If E dot get damager instance of player. Okay, you gotta make that check. If E dot get damage or instance of player, and if E dot get entity is instance of player, otherwise it'll throw a, it'll throw an exception if you don't make that check. And then we'll do. Um, oh wait, we have to do the math dot. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just had to look at something. That will help later. So what I forgot, one thing I forgot is we have to check if D or a plugin that contains. Whoops. If plugin. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Fucking a viper that contains p dot get name and do a parenthesis. Um. Oh wait, no d dot get name, not p d. Make sure you do d because he's the damager. Um. If now right here we're going to make it so it's um a percent. So this is um math that random point or er, zero point three three d so right there we're making the percentage of the viper being hit uh thirty three percent that he'll be hit and he'll get the poison effect that I will add right now. P dot add potion effect a uh, new potion effect potion effect type dot poison comma we'll go how many ticks go 60 ticks okay so right there we added a potion effect for three seconds or 60 ticks and it's poison two oh, wait no potion effects go by um, they start at zero, so it's zero one. Zero is uh, poison one. One is poison two. So this has to be. Whoops. So this has to be one right there. And that is our event. Um, make sure to remove them from the list. I'll just do that now. If plugin dot viper dot contains p dot get name. I'm not going to test this because I don't have an account. Well, I do, but I don't really feel like testing. I, I don't really feel like getting on an alt. Whoops, plug in viper. Remove p gets name. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like. Any questions, tell me. And thank you.